I'm going to show you how to use liquid finance on Cardano. One of the problems we're trying to solve here is how can you earn yield on Cardano with li limited liquidity that's available. So I'm going to do three things in this video. I'm going to bring in USDT via WAN chain from Polygon. Then we're going to borrow and lend on liquid. So you can see how that works. Then I'm going to leave the Cardano network via Tron and go out to an exchange. That way you learn three critical things. Uh, factors or three critical things here and that is how do you lend and borrow on liquid and how do you bring stable coins in from other chains and go back out to other chains and to exchanges let's get started I'm going to start with MetaMask on Polygon starting with a swap here to get USDT Next, I'm going to send the USDT to the Cardano network using the WAN bridge. So I'm going to the asset bridge, as you can see here on my screen, and I have my MetaMask connected, as you can see here. When I check max, you can see that there's 13 million available USDT on the Polygon side, and I'm only sending 172. So there's definitely enough there. Before I send it, I have to enter the destination address of my Cardano wallet. My Polygon wallet, as in MetaMask, is already connected. So I'm going to go to my eternal wallet, grab the address, copy it. Put it in WANbridge, verify that it's correct. Check that there is enough USDT in the WANbridge, and then send it to the Cardano network. Observe the estimated time here is going to be about 30 minutes for it to get over to the Cardano side. You can see my transaction is complete on the WAN bridge. I check Eternal Wallet. The funds have been received over there, 172 USDT. It left my MetaMask wallet on the Polygon mainnet. Now I can go to Liquid. Here I'm on Liquid Finance, v2.liquid.finance, and I have a couple of assets I can supply, ADA and the USDT I just sent. The current interest rate for me to lend USDT is 19%. That's a dynamic interest rate, and it adjusts based on use of the protocol. I hit Supply. I select the asset to supply. The minimum required is 100 USDT. That's why I sent over a lot more than 100. I'm going to supply 100 USDT. Hit Supply. Sign the transaction. and the transaction is submitted. Now that I have the 100 USDT on the supply side of Liquid, let's take a look at the market for a moment. USDT can be provided as a lend, so I can lend it in, but I can't use it as collateral. Now I'm gonna do a borrow on Liquid. To borrow USDT on Liquid, I can't supply USDT as a collateral, so I'm going to supply ADA as the collateral. Here's the borrow. Here's the supply side. So I'm going to supply ADA 600. Supply 
and sign it. After a few minutes, the supplied ADA shows up in the supplied list here, and now I can borrow. The way it looks in your wallet is it comes in as QADA. So back over to Liquid App. Now I can borrow. So we're going to borrow USDT. We're going to borrow 100. Type of collateral is the QADA. The amount is max. I need to make sure that the health factor exceeds 1.6 and it's pretty high. It's a 2.179. Very good health factor. It's well above 1.6. So I can actually make this borrow because the collateral has to be more than the value you're going to borrow. So now I hit borrow USDT, sign a transaction. After a few minutes, Liquid processed my borrow. You can see it's showing up in here. 100 USDT is borrowed. Here's the percentage rate, 32%, and I can repay it. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do here is exit out to an exchange. So here's the USDT I borrowed. Quick summary, here is the QADA that I lent at 3.58%. USDT that I brought in from Polygon to the Cardano network, and I supplied that. That has a interest uh, APY. 19.0% and I borrowed USDT. This is going to go out via WAN chain across Tron to an exchange practically in one hop using WAN chain. So now I go back over to WAN chain. Asset bridge. And here on WAN, on the WAN chain for this third part, I am going to select the Cardano network because I'm going from the Cardano network. I'm going to connect my eternal wallet. All right, change of plans. I can't go across Tron because there's no USDT showing up on the Tron interface. So let me check the Polygon interface. Okay, on Polygon, what do we got? Okay, 1,189 USDT on the Polygon interface. So I'm going to move $172. I can use that interface. Now, the Tron interface used to have money on it, but it's not showing up anymore. I don't know where it went. So I go over to Kraken, and I grab my Tether Polygon address right here, copy it, plug it in over on the WAN bridge on the Polygon side. you got to edit it, put in the Polygon address because the Tron side doesn't have any money in it anymore, then hit the green check mark so that that uh, address sticks verify it over on Kraken that is the address that I copied and yes it is then I go back over here I put in the max amount I'm gonna send all of it what is the fee the fee for me sending it from the Cardano network across polygon to an exchange address and that becomes important in just a moment the fee is 1.8 ADA shown right here so pretty cheap then I hit next. I'm going to get a warning. I confirm the address is not an exchange address. It's very important. If you send it to an exchange, you do it at your own risk. I can send it to my MetaMask on a Polygon address. I've tested sending to exchange. I'm going to go ahead and send it to the exchange address because I know it works. Again, verify things work with small amounts. Now I sign the transaction with my Cardano wallet. And it's going to go from Cardano through WanChain, Polygon, over to Kraken. Sign the transaction, the bridge process begins, and I'm gonna wait for an indicator that the bridging is complete, and I'm gonna check and verify that it shows up on Kraken. Looks good, transaction complete, and it has shown up over on Kraken. So, good stuff. Something to be aware of is, on the WAN bridge, this took about 20 minutes to get the transaction complete. It was about another 10 minutes for it to show up in Kraken. So be alert to those time frames. 30 minutes to complete the task. A few things to be aware of. Be careful sending to and from exchanges across a bridge. The address of the token might not be supported and you could lose all of your funds. Also, when you're using Liquid, 
pay close attention to the percent interest rates, percent yield, percent APR. The percent APRs can get very high depending on very high utilization or very low liquidity. Also, when using liquid, pay very close attention to the health factor and how high it has to remain. If your loan or if your borrow health factor drops below the collateral requirement, for example, 1.6, if it drops low enough, your collateral will get liquidated and you will lose those funds. You will get to keep what came out the other side, but your collateral will be gone. So you gotta be alert to those situations that cause risk. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to hit like and subscribe down below, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.